Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya Weatherall. I'm a multi-passionate creator who loves to bring you along with me so we can have fun together. If that sounds like your jam, make sure you click that subscribe button and the bell so you get notified when I post new videos. Let's hop into today's video. It's a new month. It's finally November. It's Scorpio season, my birthday month, but with the new month comes planning. I am a planner girl. I love productivity. I love the office supplies, the whole nine yards. Okay, that is my jam. But one thing that I have stuck with for the past four years is the Hustle Sanely Planner created by Jess Massey. All right. And let me tell you, let me preface this. Before 2020, before I found Hustle Sanely, I was hopping around planners. Okay, Walmart, Target. Every year I'm like, okay, I need to find this planner. And I'll get a planner and it, you know, it'll work for a while. And then I stopped using it. I was like, okay, this is not working for me. So then I'll go back to using Google Calendar. Sometimes I may have used my planner. Other times I may have used a regular notebook. I was jumping around. When I found Hustle Sanely through another creator, I was like, okay, let me see what she's talking about. Cause you know, like I said, I've been hopping around planners. Let me see. The first product that I got was the journal. And the other product that I got was a daily notepad. And I tried it out, I'm like, okay. I like this. But then I realized it wasn't just the product. The product, I mean, if you go to Walmart or Target right now, you can find different planners that have like time slots in them and you may find like your top three for the day. But it also stuck with me that I don't only just connect with the products, but I connect with the creator of the product. And Jess is such a sweet human being. Uh, she, her, her values and my values align. She's a Christian owned business, which I love. So her products that she makes, she's very intentional, praying about them, making sure that what she's, ser what she's giving out will serve her community. And so I started really connecting with her in that way. So then when I started purchasing her products, I was like, okay, what she's teaching and how she puts it in her, her daily products makes sense to me. I just have to make it my own, right? So I, I started connecting in that way. So then when I started using the Hustle Stanley products, I started including inserting myself into things like, okay, these affirmations, yes, she's given an affirmation, but let me create my own affirmation or let me create my own um, 12 year plan and see what that looks like. So I started really envisioning what my life could look like the Hustle Sanely way. Um, and since then, like I said, since 2020, I've been using all of her products. I've signed up for her courses. I'm a Hustle Sanely BFF, which is an online community of women that are encouraging one another, sharing testimonies, and just overall being a community. Um, and so I am proud to be an affiliate member of Hustle Sanely. So my link will be down in the description below when I'm sharing these products with you. Like I said, I've hopped around planners. I've hopped around different you know, productivity tools. And I've stuck with this for four years and I'm not changing. I'm not going back. I already got the 2025 planner. I'm going to upgrade um, the the digital journal to what's new now. So like I said, I'm a Hustle Sanely user through and through. Plus the products are beautiful. So it looks aesthetic, aesthetically pleasing on your desk um, at work or at home. Um, and like I said, the products tailor to your lifestyle. So while she may give you the, the framework, you take that framework and make it your own. So like I said, I can go on and on and on about this, but I wanted to bring you all along with me of how I plan my months usually, what that looks like, how the pages look. So if you're considering a planner for 2025, if you're considering um, just new productivity tools to use for your lifestyle, uh, let me show you and let me give you some tips. So let's go ahead and get started planning for the month. The planner here. So this is the 2024 planner. These are usually the tools that I use when I'm planning. Uh, my phone is for Google Calendar or if I'm looking at my work schedule just to see what's uh, you know, what's coming down for the week. Um, and then these are usually the three types of pens that I use. I got these off of Amazon. So this is just a regular uh, fine tip pen that you can find on Amazon. Um, a felt tip pen, because I like to do color. And then I love a good neutral highlighter. So these are usually my go-tos um, when I'm writing out my stuff for and my planner. But like, you can see a little like wear and tear on it, but it's not visibly noticeable, um, which I like. So like I said, I'm pretty, I throw this in my backpack, put this off on my desk at work at home. So that's just a little bit of that. So what's really nice is just really writes a lot of encouraging word words for us for the year. Uh, so she always has that. One thing I never did when I was always planning was a word of the year. This has changed 
at least five times. I just haven't changed it in the planner. But patience was something that I really needed to have in the beginning of the year. But I think my actual word of the year is discipline. My cat's at the door. Hold on one second. Okay, so I never really did a word of the year until I started using Hustle Sanely. So that's really nice. And then another thing that she has in here is like the five keys of hustling sanely, what that means, what that looks like. So she goes through that. Like I said, we're just doing a quick overview. We're not going in depth of the planner, but everything's nice and tabbed here. So you got your, your five keys. Then you got your 2024 years. She gives you some encouraging words. Like I said, she's um, a, a nice prayer for the year, which I love. Um, then you start going into your your month. So let me go to an empty month so you can kind of see what that looks like. Um, we're in November, so I haven't done anything in November yet. So every uh, month has a, a nice quote, um, affirmation quote. So this month is you were designed to focus on who you're becoming, not just what you're accomplishing. Then each month um, is laid out like this. You have your affirmation here, your monthly focus goal or goals. Um, relationship that you're nurturing and how you're showing up for that relationship, how you're taking care of your mental health, and then just the important dates that you have going on for that month. Uh, and then each section gives you two pages of notes. I use this for like my finances. I like to write it out, um, see what's coming out of the account for the month and what's going in for the month. So that's really nice to just lay out for me. That's how I use my note pages. I'm sure others use it differently. Um, and then you have your monthly spread. Um, here's your personal goals and then professional goals. So since I work a nine to five, I put my professional goals down here because I do use my planner for work. And then my personal is my content creation and just what's going on for that month. And then the monthly spread. And then this is my favorite part right here is the weekly layout, which is just chef's kiss okay just did a good job and one thing i like is she takes our our recommendations seriously so she'll post a um at the beginning of the year uh, or when planner season is pretty much over she'll uh, do a suggestion box of what would you like to see in the next planner um what's been working for you what hasn't and so she takes all that feedback and then this is what we get here. So I love how she's very interactive with her products and it's not just what she thinks is right, but she also gets our opinions as well. Um, so usually how I use this, this is where your top uh, focus three goes uh, for the week. Um, and then any other tasks that you have going on. I love this question or this statement of how I'm resting for the week. One thing that I've learned is rest is not earned. You don't earn rest. You should take rest. Um, our, we're not machines. We are human beings and we should take care of ourselves mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, and creatively. Um, so I usually put this down like sometimes like I think last week I put um, I was going to watch my favorite TV show and read a book um, or play my Switch at night because sometimes in the evenings I'm just go, go, go and I never just relax and have fun. So I've used this for that. And then habit trackers here. If you're a habit tracker person, this is really beneficial. Um, then you have your time slots here. Um, which I use for work. I use, you know, that's what, that's why I have my phone here because then I can check what's coming up on my Google Cal as well as my Outlook. And then I'll just plot out tentatively what's going on for that week. Um, and then these sections right now I have like bills that are coming out for that week. I also use this for like what I'm posting on Instagram, what I'm posting on TikTok, when I need to be more consistent, um, posting on those platforms. I'll put that here too. I used to just use this for work only and, um, my focus three for work would go in here. So I've used these boxes for many different things so far right now. I'm using it for my bills and eventually my content creation. Then, since we have our focus three for the week, then I break those down into steps for the day, um, each day. So focus three here, this is called the Hustle Sanely Five. These are things if you can't do everything in the day, which is impossible, at least you can show up for your five things, which is your hustle, which is your focus three, your top three items for the day that must get done, your move for 30 minutes. So what are you, how are you moving your body? Uh, tidy for 15, that just can look like 
you vacuuming a room, you're cleaning up uh, the bathroom sinks, um, cleaning the tub, doing the laundry, whatever that looks like for you, that's what the Tidy for 15 is for. Um, kind thing for yourself because you must take care of yourself to be present for others, and then how you're also doing that for somebody else. So the, it varies each day. I usually just fill out the Focus 3 probably ahead of time, but usually these other four boxes I fill out the day of because it uh, can always change. So then we go through, and these all look the same for the month. Um, as you can see, I already have stuff filled in. This is from the Hustle Stanley calendar of what's going on for the month. Um, and then it starts back over again, and this is December. Um, then there's a section back here for notes. Um, and then as well, when it's a new quarter, which I like, you get a weekly routine builder. So if you're someone that has deferring... Um, weeks or you like to just see how your your quarter is going to look out for how your quarterly schedule is going to look for the for the quarter then you can plot that out and section off like you know as you can see Monday through Friday I'm working during this time but then you know this is usually when I wake up during this time is around like 5 30 maybe 6 o'clock then I have my evening routine and each day looks different I should you know fill this out because each day is different this quarter and then as well as you have a quarter for prep. So since it's November, I'll fill this out. These are my personal items and professional items that need to get done. Um, so I like how she gives us that. And then these are like sectional tools that you can actually, she creates free uh, resources. So, uh, free resources where you can print that out and actually paste it here so if you're a budget girl or you like to do a cleaning routine you can use that for this this is detachable and you can move it around how you see fit um what else oh and then another thing that i love too is as she's going through the five keys to hustling sanely she gives you like uh goal mapping um pages so you can map out your goals for the year or quarter um, she shows you how to use the tools that are provided in this planner. So not only is this, like I said, this is not just a planner. It's a lifestyle. It's your lifestyle blossomed in this booklet here, this planner. It gets really, really in depth of, you know, you know, your vision, getting clear on your vision, um, getting your mindset right, defining your priorities, um, setting your routines and schedules, um, defining your goals it's it's great this planner is wonderful so all right so that was just an overview of what the planner uh looks like now i'm gonna actually spend some time planning for the month of november so i'm gonna turn on some cozy music and we're gonna go ahead and get started i got my water here so if you want to join along with me uh grab your planner if you're a hustle family person and you're watching this grab your hustle family planner but if you don't have one just yet grab your planner Grab your Notion board, Google Calendar, and let's prep for the month of November because this is going to be a fantastic month, all right? All right, we're going to get started in three, two, one. Cue the music, and let's get started. All right, that concludes the monthly planning. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I like to do my weekly planning like tomorrow, which is Sunday or Monday, uh, just so I have a clear overview of what I'm doing. Um, I can easily plan it out now, but it always changes. So I wanna stick close to the date when I do that. But I just wanted to quickly show you because uh, the table filled up pretty quickly. Um, now I'm going to go into my digital journal. This is also the Hustle Sanely Peacefully Productive Journal. So you can fill out um, your affirmation as well, what you got going on for the, the month, 
the quarter, all the things, but we're not doing that this video. We'll do that in a separate video. Um, so I like to take what I wrote in here, put it in there so it all aligns. Uh, when I'm doing my finances, I always have my calculator that I got off of Amazon. You saw the pen spread here, so green. And then each planner, when you order um, a quarterly planner, she has a quarterly planner and a yearly planner. Each planner comes with a magnetic um, rainbow, which is really cool. And so I just stick that on um, the page that is for the week coming up. So then it's just easy peasy pumpkin squeezy for me. I had my lo-fi playlist, coffee shop playlist. Always have water, gotta stay hydrated. So that's, that's usually what I have going on when I'm planning for the month. But that's it. So like I said, in my description box, I will have my affiliate link that you can click on and you can shop around for your favorite Hustle Sanely tool. Like I said, these are not just planners, uh, notepads, sticky notes, these are a lifestyle. Once you understand the Hustle Sanely lifestyle and how you can incorporate that into your own life and make it your own, then these products are just tools now because now you've already created that lifestyle that you're looking for and now you just need the tools to sustain that. And like I said, I have been using these products for four years so I'm not gonna steer you wrong if you're someone that's just like on the fence of finding planners. Check this out, try it out, see if you like it and you gotta let me know what you think, okay? So in the comments below, since it's a new month, what is your goal for the month? I'm curious to know what it is. Share with me in the comments. Um, until we meet again, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.